is on a mission They pen money wall and the transmission Who not like it better make a decision Lakers, what's going on over there? Apparently nobody Nobody that's been sub 500 going into this part of the year has Was it ever made the playoffs or ever won a title? It must be win a title They can't be having made They can definitely still make the playoffs somehow Hell of a lot better than the Celtics Yeah, the Bulls are trending upwards We got, we got two killers We got DeRozan And we got Zach Levine we got the unselfish guys and Vooch is starting if, if Vooch finds any kind of form it's over like if this guy can can shoot if he can shoot 40% from free if he can grab 12 to 15 rebounds a game he don't even, he don't even need to he can still he can give us a low key 20 he don't even, if he averages 18 18 12 and gives us 4 assists a game it's over it's over. <laughs> no, I'm playing. We're going straight to the finals. Now I'm playing. But no, definitely. We, we definitely stand the best chance. Celtics are broken and need to think about blowing up everyone but Tatum. Why do you guys always clamor for Tatum over Jalen Brown? I don't understand it. When are you not going to concede that? You, you need someone that, play, that plays both sides of the ball with equal intensity. You need a two-way player. What you need to do is get rid of... The Marcus Smarts and like them guys, like it's time for them to get the hell on out of Boston. Like that, you could try something new with and search for new chemistry. Like blow it up so that yeah, now Tatum and Brown feel like this is really our team now, because we're like the senior tenured guys. But what's with what's with Boston fans always wanting to get rid of Jalen Brown? I don't. What's with that? All right, here's my question. Chris Middleton or Jalen Brown? Who who's who's the better player? Would you do would you guys do that? Let's say all things were equal, salary, all of that, length of contract, all of it. Would you would you guys do that? I think you wouldn't. But let's see what you say. I I just don't think Boston fans would do that. I don't yeah. I think it's entitlement as well. Boston is always a city that's always won. You you guys always won everything. Patriots, come on, we both support the Patriots. The Celtics, like you you guys are, are used to winning in a way where you're very impatient. However, what I will say about the Celtics is, I think I said this to you before. You guys missed the chance to like push your chips into the middle, and really. You know what I mean? You had the resources. You had the picks. You had you had the salary. You had the salary. You had everything you needed to get what you, you or keep players out of the hands of competition. That you had that chance and you didn't do it, and you're suffering for it now. Just don't think Brown and Tatum work perfect together. How can they work perfect together when one of them is a ball hog who thinks he's Kobe 3.0? <laughs> and the other guy wants to play both sides of the ball but is never the feature he's never given number one status ever like do you know what I mean you know I anyway here's again here's an outsider's view if you gave Jalen Brown number one status for a period of 10 to 12 games A it would make Tatum it, he would spin out in his own in his own head and think why am I not the number one option right now may force him to get better may force him to evolve secondly he will be able to look at the things that brown does that he can't do namely defend at an elite level it will push him to evolve as a player instead you guys cuddle him and again he's a great player like he has great variety of finishes very much reminiscent of kobe very much in the kobe mold but it's almost like you you guys have um you've paved the road for him and and you're telling you're telling Jalen Brown to use a pickaxe and mine his way through. It's not fair. Problem is in the NBA you need superstars to win. Tatum can be a top five player in the league in my opinion. Brown is at best a good all star. Yet you're getting sort of similar production out of Brown offensively. So if you gave again, give this man number one status for about twelve games and see what happens. For 12 games, tell this guy you're going to take all the shots. You. 
You're going to be the focal point of the offense. You. And see what happens. Instead, what you guys are probably going to end up doing is sell low. You're going to sell low. No one ain't going to break the bank for Jalen Brown because they know you guys don't actually rate him as a number one option. You don't. So why... And that's the thing, a lot of these teams are getting wiser. They're, they're, they're a lot shrewder in their front offices now. You can't really fleece people at one time. You could just, you know, cast off your trash on, on someone else. It's not going like that. If, okay, find me a fit for Jalen Brown. Where, where would be a good landing spot for him? And what, what would you guys want in return? Can you even tell me that? I don't think Boston fans even know what they want outside of Brown. What do you guys want? What, Bradley Beal? Him and Tatum won't work. I'll tell you that right now. You better not be trying to say Bradley Beal. As for top five player in the league, we got to pause there. Because we, we got more than five players better than Tatum right now. You can pick off a, you can pick off a player like De'Aaron Fox. That would be possible. Why are we all... To be honest, I, I've, I'm not going to lie, I've, Darren Fox, Darren Fox has sort of slipped. He slipped in my view, like, maybe it's, maybe it's the emergence of Jar. Maybe it's the efficiency of Curry. Maybe it's the fact that, like, Dame and other guys, like, too, too many point guards, like, outshine him. So, to me, he's like, he's not in my mind like that. If you, you would give up Darren Fox, you, you, sorry, you would take Darren Fox for for Jalen Brown, I don't know, man. But then again, point guard is an area you guys have been suffering, suffering in for 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 a long time now. I don't know. I believe Kings want to move on from Fox, and he is good. He's good, but you just told me Brown is a at best a good All Star. What is Darren Fox? <laughs> You see what I'm saying? You guys don't know what you have. You just it's one of them things. You you yeah. It's a shame though. Cause I, I see greatness in Jalen Brown. I just don't see the opportunity for him to really, really Yes, he has to leave Boston. I think I think that's what it is. He can't stay there. I think you guys are crazy for not realizing that you have a one-two punch there if you you need to coach Tatum and you need to free Brown. But you guys wanna you want to shackle Brown and free Tatum, which is leading to what you're getting. But as a Bulls supporter, Jalen Brown would have been... Him alongside Zach Levine would work. It would definitely have worked. But then we got DeMar, so... Do we need do we need Jalen Brown? No. I, I would take him. I would take him, but it's like, the way how the, the Rosen with that chip on his shoulder is playing for us? Yeah, no. We don't need him. Knicks would be a good place for him. What do you want? You want RJ Barrett? <laughs> West, are you in here? <laughs> Get busted on the ball. <laughs> you guys want RJ Barrett? <laughs> he doesn't like RJ Barrett. Um, what about in the West? If Jamal Murray didn't get injured, I would say that would be a good trade. Jalen Brown for Jamal Murray. Straight up. Because it seems like you guys want to, you want someone who's who's just a dog. Like he can do it with or without the ball, whether you believe in him or not. I think I think Jamal Murray would have been that for you. Other than that, I just think you're gonna you're gonna end up giving up some a very valuable piece for not much in return. Look, bro, like look what we did with Jimmy Butler. That's what you're that's the territory you're headed towards. Right? We definitely didn't do we never got the best deal possible for for um for Jimmy Butler. It's it's thank the heavens Zach turned into Zach cuz what we got was was shit. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> we got we got we got the um the Minnesota castoffs. <laughs> oh man. There you go. That's probably would 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 Miami even do that trade would they give you Jimmy Jimmy Butler for for Jalen Brown probably not 
That would be a good trade though for both for both teams. Zach's gone quiet. Zach has has got no idea who who they should be moving for, and he didn't want to answer the whole. Um, is 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 Darren Fox a, an all a, <laughs> better than a good all star? <laughs> you checkmated yourself. <laughs> right, who's in here? Drop an emoji if you're lurking. The problem is they're is they're both wings, and we need talent at other positions. So. All right, so let me see if I understand you now. You want to sacrifice Brown to get depth in other places. But talk to me then. What do you guys actually need over there to make it work? Because as far as I can see, it's just, it's not gelling well. To me, it's the old Marcus Smart needs to get going. Schroeder is, I, I don't know. Is Schroeder, is Schroeder bad luck? <laughs> Has this guy ever been in, in, a, in a real winning culture? <laughs> Dennis the Menace out here, like, no, I don't know, man. If you're looking to, to shore up other positions, then fine, yes. Yes, you would, you, you should be able to, to find depth from a, a Jalen Brown trade. But expecting, like, a De'Aaron Fox and then what else? We've attempted the multiple good wings at the same time route, and it hasn't worked now for years. Go on. Take me through the history of, of you trying this route. Let me see who these multiple good wings were. But as far as I can tell, you've you've only now lucked into having two good wings. Before you never had no two good wings, you had one. You've always had one. The the thing that you're really struggling with is point guard. Like you're not getting the point guard play you need. Kyrie, Kemba, like you've had to sort of blow it up a couple of times. Hayward, all the time. Tatum, Brown, and Hayward all at the t same time upset Tatum and Brown. Tatum, Brown, and Hayward. Hayward got injured, so that's really what messed things up. And actually, when you guys got got out of um, Hayward, he was still very efficient. He, I just, I like, I like, I like um, Gordon Hayward's game. I do. If he never got injured. Maybe you guys, maybe things turn out a little differently. I don't think a whole lot different, but differently, for sure. But yeah. Oh, you're going to mention like Terry Rozier and all of that. For Kyrie and all that. Eh. I do too and agree with the Hayward take. Hayward's a baller, man. Low-key a baller. He, he, the injury, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's going to fully get back from it, but just so efficient man <laughs> just so efficient and can shoot the lights out I really wanted him at the balls um, before he went to you guys and then he got injured it's, it's, it's a shame when, when injury happens and it happened to him like wasn't it like opening night or something it, it yeah you never you never got the best of the best out of him I'm so yeah Rogier was terrible for the locker room yeah because he was all swag and he's doing well for the Hornets so he's doing well Wait, no. Didn't they move him on? Did they move him on? Where did Rogier end up? I know he was at the Hornets, but did they move him? No, 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 no. They moved um, Dante Graham. They were complaining because they were holding it down. <laughs> they, they had a year where they went pretty far and did a lot. So they're not going backwards after that. I, I, come on. You got to understand that. You were given the opportunity, you excel in the opportunity, now you're gonna just go back and play a role? No. <laughs> I'm getting paid. <laughs> Trying to blow up like the World Trade. Nah, I'm playing. Alright. If you don't want, you can you can take Caruso and give us um Jalen Brown. <laughs> now Caruso is he's balling for us as well. You can have Matt McClung. <laughs> we have like pretty much all of the Lakers roster right now. <laughs> Anyone that didn't work out over LA is just at the Bulls training center right now looking for a 10 day.